सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास सिक्स हेलो लर्नर्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू द वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज क्लासरूम लर्नर्स वी हैव बीन लर्निंग इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वेरी वेल टुडे वी विल डू योर पोएम फ्रॉम योर क्लास सिक्स टेक्स्ट बुक हनी सकल फर्स्ट लेसन द पोएम योर हाउस योर होम लर्नर्स आई एम Meganathan from Department of Education in Languages with me is Kriti Kriti how are you I'm fine sir thank you Okay let let's today uh, do the poem a house or home Sure sir Okay uh, let me ask you a question Yes sir at the outset in the beginning itself what comes to your mind when you think of your house Sir a house is a place which is made up of bricks hmm. uh and cement and uh, all the labor work which is involved in it fine nothing else um, i'm asking about your house your home uh, sir uh, the word itself house is like it gives me a uh, intuition to define a physical uh, physicality of a house like how it is made what are the things which is in the materials which are involved in the house fine Here is a poem learners we call our house sometimes house and sometimes home learners sometimes we say i have a house in this place this city this village at the end of the village in the middle of the village but we also say we have a home it's my home so there's a difference yes sir so we will see through this poem a house a home by lorraine yam holly Let me ask Kriti to tell what we are going to learn through this poem as objectives. Objectives of the poem. At the end of this lesson, learners, we will be able to understand the ideas of poem, the difference between a house and a home, appreciate the poem and the use of words to denote different meanings, use the ideas of the poem to reflect how a home is more human than a house okay how your home is more human than a house learners first of all let me read out the poem to you let's enjoy the reading here is the poem for you a house a home learners what is the difference between a house and a home think about it a house a home What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard and some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. Your sense self is acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. Lauren M. Hale. Learners, Kriti is going to read out to you again. Here is a poem for you. A house, a home. What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. its eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others its brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers its unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring fine learners You have listened to the poem twice. Let me ask you to do some activity. Now learners, let's find out what the poet what does the poet say. 
about a house and what does he say about a home in other words how he describes a house and how does he do for your home kriti yes sir let's let's see what does the poet say about your house so first let me read out again the first stanza which describes the house okay sir then you will have to say what is there in a house okay okay sir what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard and some window glass and perhaps a yard it's it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors come on learners you have the poem with you find out what the poet describes about a house kriti yes sir what do you see in a house according to the poet so the poet is describing a house which is made up of bricks and stones and wood and then he also tells us that the house has window glasses and it also has a yard and he also talks about eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof Fine. and doors a, a typical british house european house okay learners we live in houses we live in homes you see a house you find it's made up of brick and stone and look at look at the third line learners kriti yes sir and wood that and wood that is hard yes sir okay they are all physical objects of a house is that the house do these make a house sir if we talk about the physicality these elements these materials do make a house but it does not make a house where we uh, which we can call home fine that's what a house is made up of bricks and stones and window glass uh, stucco roof lots of doors you can see many stores uh, we we say guest houses yes sir sir government run uh, guest houses so uh, we stay for some time Hmm? Yes sir. Uh, we say big houses uh, like uh, American president's house or white house something like that. Are they homes? We need to understand that. Come on. Let me read out the first stanza again. What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roofs and lots of doors. Learners that physical infrastructure we call it is what the poet describes as her house let me tell you what he says what he uses what words he uses to describe a home okay let me ask kriti to read out the second stanza which describes a lovely and loving home sure sir what is a home It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you're always caring. Okay. Let's list out what is there in a home. Okay? Come on. Kriti? Yes, sir. What's a home according to the poet? So the poet is describing a home which involve a family which is loving and the act of doing for others uh, the home also has brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it involves lots of unselfish acts and the sharing the kindly sharing we do with others uh, with our family members and the love we show for our loved ones and the care we show for them fine kriti let me ask you uh, we we quarrel with our brothers sisters sometimes uh, father admonishes us for our mischievous acts or wrong doing but does that mean they don't love you no sir it's okay. like it's a part of, of taking care yes okay learners you understand a home is something different from a house so your home is loving 
and it's made up of a family and it's also doing for others sacrificing giving up and sh- giving and taking and unselfish acts so this is saying charity begins at home yes sir so we need to take care of others and we also have to become unselfish that begins only at home learners this is what the poet is trying to tell us so don't keep your house a house make your house your home love others caring and sharing definitely so, uh, so. Th- that's what now let me ask you to list out the qualities of a home hmm. okay hmm. so sir the qualities of a home are loving family brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers we do the the love we share among ourselves our family and the care we show to our family members fine so that means home is a symbol a place for bond is it yes sir whereas a house is a place where only physical objects come on learners it's up to us to make our house a home or a home or house so give up care and take care and share okay this is what the poet is trying to tell us understand it let me read out again there's a reason for reading out a poem again and again learners every time you read you get a new meaning new layer of meaning come on let me read out then kriti also will read out later a house a home what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard and some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing you are loved ones you are always caring now learners you recall some recent incident in your house in which your uh, father mother or brother sister anyone has got annoyed with you and after some time after a day or two or after an hour or so i came and talked to you the same tone means means the loving and caring to- tone this is what a ha- home but it may not happen in a house once you are angry with your person i don't like the person let me not speak to the person that happens in public places maybe in offices in other places on the on the, st- on the street roads but whereas in home you love to meet the person you love to uh, compromise you love to uh, mend yourself or ask the person to mend come on kriti mm, yes sir tell tell me uh, like the students their learners there yes, your sir. father or mother may have scolded you definitely sometimes of course, sir. Uh, uh, sometimes ago yes, mm, some time ago so uh, how, uh, uh, how how did you feel at the time then later what happened so at the time they are scolding me or uh, being angry with me of course i feel a little um, sad and angry at them sometimes also but eventually the things uh, settle down the same love and affection shows up changes and 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 uh, during the time of lunch or dinner they yes. they, they, they talk this in the same same, same way uh, same way yes. uh, so you feel oh uh this is what a home is but if it's a house the anger continues yes fine learners kriti is going to read out to you uh once more then here is the poem for you just now carefully listen to the poem watch it then understand the difference between a home a house and a home come on a house a home What is a house? It's brick and stone and wood that's hard, some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? 
it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring fine learners let me ask you to close your eyes for 10 seconds and now sitting in your house maybe in your school anywhere imagine your house what comes to your mind it is not the physical objects it's not the wall window door kitchen it is the people in the house open your eyes so that's what the difference now look at the poet how the poet kriti yes sir uh, the, uh, when he describes a house he uses very strong words stone hard yard but when it when he describes a uh, 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 home. home family sisters mothers loved ones caring look at it the very idea of home is soft soothing congenial loving and caring whereas the house is a physical infrastructure yes come on learners be kind be congenial to everybody at home of course outside if you are fine at home uh, loving and caring you can take care of others in your school uh, in your classroom in your school and in the office in the on the road when you see someone on the road look at the person with some some care so that the person feels at home we say that i am feeling at home in the office people say there's a usage you know yes, I, i feel at home don't 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 be worried be feel at home sometimes when i appear uh, 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 some interview boards some people say mm, some members of the board say no 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 feel at feel home, at home. Ah, yeah feel at yes. home no, nothing to worry so feeling at home is something which makes us fine happy not to be worried so learners let's take a look at uh, some of the things which happens in the home are uh, in the house so now learners this is there in the book i am going to ask you kriti you yes, do it sir. You, you have to do two things okay sir uh you may close your eyes if you want otherwise you have to i am going to say my house is my house is you have to make two sentences okay sir at least learners come on make two sentences my house is my house is made up of bricks hmm. and cement and it has two rooms fine now this is what the poet says i am asking you to say what you think of your house you said two rooms just describe the physical appearance of the house okay sir hmm. so my house is made up of bricks and cement like the poet also says it has doors it has windows Uh, it has a ceiling and a lot of furniture also is present there fine okay second thing the best thing about my home is the best thing about my home is definitely my family and the love and the care we have among ourselves fine okay uh there 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 may be children at home yes sir there are uh, so uh, they add uh, what's it Uh, fun and frolic uh, to to uh, love and care in the in the family their innocence makes us uh, feel happier this is what learners we need to understand when you read a poem when you decode your poem so just to understand the meaning of the poem so here is a home and house uh, i'm going to read out to you again instead of reading out we are going to play the audio book which is there in on your qr code uh, material and uh, or on ncert website uh, listen to it again a house a home what is the difference between a house and a home discuss it with your partner then read the poem what is a house it's a brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard its eaves and chimneys and tile floors 
and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's a loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you are always caring. Thank you learners. Let me give you a homework or even it may be a school work. Here it is. Read the poem again. Write five sentences each about your house that is the physical appearance of the house and five sentences about the love and care the home gives you in when when you are in the house so how are you going to write learners there is something called process approach to writing first jot down your ideas make an outline write your first draft then improve it then finalize it it, it may take some time right first of all you see oh what are the things in my house as as kriti said uh, door wall uh, rooms kitchen this that drawing room or furniture these are the physical aspects of the of your house what's a home i have a grandmother i have my nephew or niece hmm? or i have my younger brother or sister or i have my elder sister or brother so what do they do how is my father so put five sentences so just jot down then make an outline means how are you going to write which sentences will come first which will go uh, later then write the first draft then you see any language mistake errors spelling mistakes then finalize it this is called process approach to writing uh, we will come to you uh, uh, separately on process approach to writing later so uh, let me uh, thank you learners uh, for having been with us through this poem and kriti thank you very much thank you uh, sir for sir. having me yeah we'll meet you in the next lesson next episode till then thank you bye you are just listening to curriculum based programs dhwani shala production assistance tanu gupta and jagbandhu jana recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo and produced by Vandana Arimardan This program was brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India